With me today are two brand new items from Avid to help keep you warm on the bank this winter. And to be honest, all year round, because you can change this whole system up or depending on what you go for, to suit you all year round, whether you're going for full winter warmth or just basics in the summer to keep you dry, but not too hot in those warm, sticky nights. But before we get into these products, do make sure you grab your phone or whatever device you're on and subscribe to us on YouTube and also hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also, if you like, you can follow us on many different social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now. So with me today is a main sleeping bag and a sleeping bag cover. I'm gonna go through the sleeping bag first, so let's check that to one side. Now this is the Ascent RS camo sleeping bag. And as you can see, it comes in a dedicated stuff bag. So all of these straps can be tightened down nicely. So if you wanna pack this away, I don't think many people do take the sleeping bags off the, their uh, bed chairs. But then again, as I'll get onto with the cover later on, if in the summer you just want a shroud to go over the top of you, that's where that comes in. So maybe you do take this off and store it. But I think if you're anything like me, the sleeping bag will come out of this and get lost in your shed or garage and become a nice little home for some spiders or maybe even something for mice to have a chew on for a few months and the next time you come and find it it's got holes in it either way it comes in a nice stuff bag like this so you can tighten it down and loosen it to help me get it out ah oh, there we go should have loosened this all off camera but this is going to be a kind of unboxing type thing go through all the features that it has this is my first time actually seeing it get it out of the bag as you can see it's nicely rolled up now at the end whether i'll actually be able to get it back in here is another story but we shall give it a try Yeet. So here is the bag itself. And as you can see, it's a nice camo finish. And on the outside is a, it's kind of, I'm not sure exact name of the material. But it's like a rip, uh, rip stop, that's the one. It's a rip stop material. And it's not overly glossy and it's quite matte as well. So it's, it's quite a nice touch. I was thinking when I saw it the rip stop material, it might be that slightly shiny, a bit like a coat out exterior. So it's not the softest like a fleece like it is on the inside, but it's nice and ripstop. And one of the biggest things about this, or one of the nice things, that it's 20,000 millimeter hydrostatic head waterproofness. So if that in relation to babies, my personal bivy is 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. And I've been out in all weather storms and all systems and all sorts of weather, and it's kept me nice and dry. So the fact that this is double the thickness of my bivy just shows how hard wearing and thick this material is. So if you want to sleep on this under the stars sometime, but it's getting a bit damp at night, this will keep you dry or the odd little shower, it will keep you nice and dry. But it's nice to know that you're that protected when you are in this sleeping bag. Now I'm just going to wait for this helicopter to fly back over. I think that's just about gone. And yes, I did really freeze in this position. I don't know why, because continuity is gone because the audio has just changed. The helicopter's now gone. Anyway, back onto this. So it's a nice waterproof material. And on the inside, it's a hollow fill fiber, which is where it gets its warmth from. And because of that, it's not overly heavy. Considering this feels like quite a heavy duty sleeping bag, it's not a weighty item. So now I've got it out. I'm going to put it onto the bed chair itself. Stop keeping my knees warm. And you'll see that on the foot end there is a hood which goes round that top section like so and that keeps it nice and snug and stops it from falling off nice and snug actually sometimes those hood fittings can be really loose and they don't really do a hell of a lot because you then have to tighten them more there's loads of toggles hanging around and then the head end again wrap it around there and that keeps it nice and secure head to tail but just to finish it all off there is a strap, which I should have unclipped to start with. There we go. Which will go around the inside. And here's the auger bit trying to film this. There we go. That goes around the inside. That's worth noting, of course, I'm using one of the Avid bed chairs today for demonstration purposes. This is the one of the level beds. But I'm sure this is a fairly standard size bed chair so if you already have a bed chair which probably a lot of you do if you're looking at a sleeping bag system you're probably looking at replacing your sleeping bag it's worth noting that it should fit on most standard bed chairs and then we have it on the bed so nice and snug this bed is super comfy as well it's the first time i've actually had one of these level beds on me and that's not what this video is about but that memory foam mattress is unbelievably thick and cushiony really is nice so there we have it set up on the bed chair you've got these plastic toggles or little clips which can clip like so so that the side that you're not getting out of can't keep undoing with a zip because if you don't have these on and in the night you're rolling around 
especially the fact that these have got crash zips, as you're moving around, they'll slowly loosen, then you'll find you get drafts coming in from one side. So the fact that you can zip that up, put the little plastic clip in place, so it means that the side that you're not getting out of will not undo no matter how much you're moving around. So that's quite a nice little feature as well. You will also notice that it's got some baffles on the outside. These are wind baffles that just covers over the zip. So if you've got all your heat in there and nice and warm, the slightest little draft, especially if it's cold wind or just a little bit of cold air, getting in through those zips is enough to give you a chill up your back, get you cold in there, and then it's not really doing its job. Because the whole idea of a sleeping bag is it traps your heat in there and keeps you nice and warm. So for an ingress of cold air is coming in, it's not doing its job efficiently. So it's nice it's got those little wind baffles. If I just open this back up, so undo that clip and pull it. Again, as I've already mentioned, crash zips. You can see just how quick I can pull those zips, it's not snagging. So the zips will fly open. If you do like to zip your bed chair, or your sleeping bag right up, sorry, and you get it taken the night, fling it like that and it shouldn't get caught. Now, I don't tend to do up the side of the sleeping bag that I'm getting out of just because I don't like the thought of even non-stick non or rip stop or um, crash zip, sorry, getting stuck. I don't like the idea of having it done up. I like to fly out as quick as possible. But it's nice that you can do that. And on the inside, as you can see, we've got a really nice soft fleece interior, top and bottom. So some bed chairs or seat bags, sorry, have gone down the route of having the nylon interior, so it's easier to move around. Where this is really nicely fastened to the bed chair, it shouldn't get caught up on you because fleece does have the tendency of being a bit more grippy on your clothing, as you can see, rather than something like this, which you can slide on. But because it's completely fastened down to the bed chair, even if you're moving around in there, it shouldn't snag up on you too much. Of course, it will slightly more than nylon. That's just the nature of fleece. But it does mean it's nice and comfortable on the inside. And that's on the top and bottom as well. And I think that is nearly this sleeping bag in a nutshell. There's just one last thing to pick up on, and that's at the very head end. There's a zip, which you undo that, and you've got a little pocket. This is for putting in your pillow. So if you like to bring your pillow from home or you have a dedicated pillow, but rather than stick it on the top here where it can get a bit more grubby, potentially fall off the back, it's got its own dedicated pocket. You can put it in there, zip it back up so that the pillow's never going to move around no matter how much you move it around at night and it's not going to get grubby either. So that's quite nice. You can have that for your pillow as well. And that brings us over to the sleeping bag cover. Now this is the Ripstop Camo sleeping bag cover, and it's pretty universal. So whether you've got this system, your own system, whatever, this is something you can just have as an addition to fit on whatever system you've got already. So if you're looking for something for a little bit extra warmth during the winter months, or a bit of protection in the warmer months, and you don't want to take your whole sleeping bag, that's where this comes in. So if I just fold that completely out, rest it over my knees like I'm an old man needing a blanket. And as you can see, it's the same material as what we've got on the sleeping bag. Before we carry on with this, what do you think of the camo pattern on this? Now, I'm always talking about different camo patterns, and this has got camo in the name, so it's clearly one of the big features of it. It's a really nice understated, sort of lower key camo, and I'm, from what I remember, I think some of the patterns is actually part of the Avid logos dotted around in there, little fish and things. It, what it looks like anyway, maybe it's changed over the years. What do you think of their current camo pattern? And maybe comment below what your favorite camo pattern is in the industry. Bit of an odd one, but I've never really asked that question before. Anyway, let's carry on. So it's that 20,000 millimeter hide static head ripstop material, so nice and heavy duty. So you know that even if it starts slashing down with rain in the summer months and you didn't bring a shelter because you wanted to sleep under the stars and Met Office said it was going to be dry and it wasn't, you should be protected from that. Obviously, it's not going to be that enjoyable, but it is also usable as a shroud. It's got some little O-rings here. So if you connect this to the side of your bed chair on one side, and then you use these O-rings with a bank stick, you can hold this up as a nice little shroud as well. So a little bit of protection from the rain if it does start to rain. It connects to the bed chair with these big old clips here. That's what makes this universal. So rather than Avid making it just for them, of course they'd like you to use the whole system, but if you've got a bed chair already on a different sleep system, but you wanted to get a winter shroud, as you can see, just tuck that around the top end. These long straps and toggles means that you can put it around the frame of whatever bed chair you've got, attach it like so, tighten down, and I can do that on either side because it's got the toggles all the way around and it's fastened to the bed chair. That's really nice that you can use this wherever you like. Now I did reference that this could be used as either an extra warmth layer in the winter because it's got another layer of fleece. It's another layer that can trap air 
heat that air up and keep you nice and warm and protect you from any drafts and wind because it is a lot bigger so it overlaps the side so it's even more of a wind baffle as well but it can also be used as something in the summer whether it's just as a shroud or you can completely detach the fleece lining so if you don't want to have that on there and you just want it as this shroud as a waterproof cover in the summer or just use it with the fleece as you're just like a blanket over the top of you in the summer it can be used as that and that's where you take your sleeping bag off and just use this so you're cutting down on the weight but you still got protection as and when you need it so that's nice that you can completely remove that fleece interior a little bit of hollow fiber feel as well so it does give you that bit of protection but i wouldn't use this as a standalone in the winter because you will still be chilly well, I guess the last thing to tell you are the prices. The Ripstop Camo Bedchair Cover comes in at $89.99. Then we move on to the sleeping bags. Now, this is the standard. This one comes in at $129.99. If you go for the XL, which for your wider bed chairs, the slightly bigger ones, that comes in at $139.99 as well. So that's all the information you need on these items. If you're looking for getting a new sleeping bag or maybe just an extra bit of layer of warmth for the colder months or something coming into the warmer months next year if you've hung up your rods for the year and you're looking for something for next year travel a bit lighter but still a bit of protection that's where the bed chair cover could come in for you as well and it's really nice that that's universal and also the sleeping bags pretty much universal as well so if you want more information please do head over to the avid website and find the nearest stockist and maybe go and have a look at these yourself but that's everything from me for now so please do like the video if you did subscribe to us if you haven't done so already and also follow us on all the social media platforms as referenced earlier on Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.